Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing, Pisces? Welcome to my channel. This is Positive Thoughts and Energy. How's everyone doing? Great. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Whenever you come across this channel, hope everyone is staying safe. To all of my subscribers, my new subscribers, welcome. Thank you so much for your beautiful comments. Thank you so much for your likes and your shares. It means a lot to me. To my viewers, to my cross watchers, come on in, take what resonate, okay? Leave the rest for someone else. Apply the gender roles and reverse the roles, how they fit into your life, okay? I don't know your life, so you have to reverse the roles in your own life. All right, let's get started. Let's see what the spirit has for you, Pisces, okay? Spirit, what is the message you have for Pisces? Spirit, this is for Pisces. What's the message for Pisces? Thank you. Message for Pisces. What's the message for Pisces? All right. There's one card flipped over, Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Message. Good news. There's a message. There's a call that's coming in for you, Pisces. Are some of you expecting a, a, a phone call? Uh, this could be good news. It might be good news. Who knows? That's if you want it to be good. That's if you want it to be good news. But there's a phone call coming through. There's a phone call com coming in, Pisces. Spirit, tell me more about Pisces reading. Tell me more about Pisces reading. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay. Seek higher power. All right. Seek how higher power. Um... I feel as though that this message that's coming in, there's good news that's coming in that may be good news for you, but spirit wants you to continue to meditate. Okay. Uh, when it says seek higher power, that means, you know, you know, keep climbing, keep elevating your, whatever it is, your spirituality, your meditation, whatever you do repeatedly, whatever it, a, a ritual is for you. Whatever you do, spirit wants you to keep going higher with it. Okay. Uh, not only that, but seek higher power, the divine, the universe. All right. Um, um, stay consistent, you know, you know, keep elevating yourself, Pisces, keep elevating yourself. Okay. All right, spirit. This is for Pisces. What's the message you have for Pisces? This is for Pisces. Thank you. The message for Pisces. This is for Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Mm hmm Yep. Okay. Something that you've been working hard towards, Pisces. Something you've been working hard towards. Something you've been paying great details about. Okay, something you you really putting some energy into. Okay, this may be this phone call that's coming. Okay, uh, whatever you've been whatever you've been doing, whether it's a job. Okay, um, something that you have been doing is a phone call is about to to come in for you. Okay, let's find out. Hmm. Spirit, tell me more about Pisces. Tell me more about Pisces reading. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Thank you, Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Pisces reading. Okay. All right, I got two cards. Thought it was one. Yeah. So I feel I feel as though, you know, this is you, Empress or Emperor, okay? But I feel as though that you're at a crossroad. All right? I feel like uh, this card can represent... A crossroads, you don't know which way to go, or this could be that you're blocked off as well. You could be both. You could be blocked off, mm, sort of, but you don't know which way to go. But when I usually when I pull this card, I I say spirit tells me that this person is blocked off. But I feel like it's the energy is pulling towards me. A spirit is telling me, no, you're you're at a crossroad. That means you you. you Something you're not going to see coming. Okay. It, it, it can mean something you're not going to see coming. Or it means that you need to make a decision. You're going to have to make a decision. Okay. And this, this decision 
Because you are the empress. You are the emperor of the empress. You're definitely grounded. You're definitely about your business. Your value is at your value is beautiful. Your vibration, your energy is beautiful. But it's something that you're going to have to make a decision about or something that you're at a crossroad about or something that you don't see coming. That's what it tells me. It's something that you don't see coming, Pisces. Okay. This phone calls. <laughs> yep. Someone's rushing in, Pisces. Someone's rushing in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to say anything yet. Oh, this person that, yeah. Yeah. So I feel as though, yep, there go the phone call right there. Pisces. Someone's energy is rushing in. Yeah. So at one point in time, like I say, when you begin to get into the reading, the energy changes, the energy changes. And, uh, you know, at one point in time, I thought we were talking about a job. For some of you, that might have been for a very small percentage of you that a work, a phone call is going to something that you've been waiting on uh, to come towards you. That is something you've been working on and you're passionate about. OK, that phone call is coming in. Good news is coming in. So that is for someone. If you've been waiting on a job to call you about something or something, it's coming. Good news is coming. So spirit is like, no, that's for a percentage. That's for somebody. OK. For others. OK, I feel as though that this person, your past person that's coming in with a Russian energy. They're coming in with the Russian energy. This is the person that's coming ready to call you. This is the call. Now, that's why I say this could be good news for some of you. And this could be not good news. Like what the freak, what the fried peppers, what in the fried peppers is my ex calling me for? Or some of you can be like, yes, I've been waiting for him or her to call me. I've been waiting for him or her to call me, you know. Exactly. So, yeah, that's your ex person that's going to call you. OK, so. That's up to y'all, whichever way it goes. That's up to y'all. Hey, have no control of that whatsoever. Okay. So they are definitely coming in the energy. They're rushing in the energy. And I feel as though that you're at a crossroad. I feel like some of you, you're at a, you, you're like trying to decide you know, should I accept this call? Should I not accept this call? Should I accept her call? Should I not accept her call? You're like, I don't know. You, you, you're at a crossroad. You don't know. You're definitely not interested. Okay? You're not interested. You have no emotions. You know, you don't want no new beginning from this person. You have done a lot of healing, but you still have residue on you from your ex-person. OK, now let me say that again. You are not interested. OK. You don't want a new beginning with this person. You have healed, but you still have what residue on you. You know your value, you know your worth, but you still have residue on you. You understand me? You have healed, but you are still got residue on you now. When I say that, Pisces, is that this phone call could make you feel some kind of way. This message, this phone call that's coming in could make you feel some type of way. Even though you've healed, but this person could spark something in you. That's why you're trying to decide if I should if I should reply back to his or her text, should I accept his or her phone call? Because if I do, I'm going to mess around and have my hot dog on a bun or my peaches plucked. Mm -hmm. So you're at a crossroad. You're trying to decide if I should, if should I. Should I respond to this person's text? Should I respond to he or she, her phone call, his phone call? Because you know once you pick up that phone, you're vulnerable. 
I'm just saying, yes, you're healed. You're doing real good on yourself. But ain't that when the dark side start coming in? The devil, the dark side start coming in when you're healing. You're feeling good about yourself. Oh, I'm feeling grounded. Oh, I don't, I'm feeling good about myself. I don't went to the gym. I'm working out. I'm raising my vibration. Then, boom, here come that phone call. Here come that test. Okay? And it always comes when you just feel it. It comes in and you start feeling some type of way like, oh, my goodness. I know. I know. I know she ain't good for me. I know he ain't good for me. But, and you're sitting and you're thinking. And you're sitting and you're thinking. And you're like, should I accept this phone call? Well, honey, I'm going to have to seek higher power. That means let me start praying some more. Let me start meditating a little bit more. Yeah, you're going to you're gonna have to seek higher power for this one. Because your own strength, mm, you might fall into that test. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying, Pisces. Yeah, you're going to have to seek higher power of this phone call. Like I said, for some of you, it's good news. You, you've been waiting for you, this person to call you back. For some of you, like, I, I done moved on. I done raised my vibration. I done done a lot of healing. But I still have that residue on me. So if they call me, or if she call me, he call me, oh, boy, oh, like Monique say, oh, yeah. Like Monique say, oh, oh Lord. Yeah, y'all, you're going to have to seek higher power so that you won't fall into that. So you won't, so your vibration, so you won't fall for that vibration that's coming towards you. Because he, he coming. She coming. Just when you thought you had it. Hey, I'm healing. Hey, I done got past three months with not talking to him. I done got past six months. What? It's been eight months. Hey, I know. Hey, I'm doing good. My vibe. Boom. Out of nowhere. Here come the phone call. So... <laughs> yeah. Should you accept that phone call? Should you should you should you reply back to that text message? <laughs> That's up to you. Pisces. Mm-mm. Just when you at a good place in your life. Boom. That's how it happens. Because the universe, the divine wants to see if you really, really are really trying to move forward. Now don't get me wrong. We all backslide. We all make mistakes. We all get vulnerable and we just, oh my God, you fall into it. But my thing is, where is your vibration at? When this person call you, when this person comes towards you, and it looks like to me that you're going to be at a crossroad. You know, when you see that text come across your phone, it's like you get to twiggle, twiggle. Or he get to hoof, hoof, you know, twiggle, twiggle. <laughs> Proof, proof. Yeah, one of those two. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, beware. Beware, Pisces. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're not interested. No, you're not interested at all. You have no emotions. You don't heal. But when that phone call come in, that's going to be a whole total different story. This has been your reading, Pisces. Until next time.